So, Zenny, we'd like to ask you to come forward to, to <laughs> accept this. Thank you. Uh, dear President, uh, Vice President, uh, Deans, colleagues, and Kelly Outstanding Teaching Award Committee. Uh, I was told I have five minutes and it took me eight hours to write this. <laughs> um, and I, I, I think you need to consider uh, award recipient speech writing as an extra workload uh, for your faculty members. <laughs> the reason I write so slowly is because I feel both honored and humbled to receive this award today. I feel honored because I get this rare chance to be listed uh, along with excellent colleagues who have won this prize before, and I still have a lot to learn from you. I feel humbled because I am aware that there are many core and associate faculty members are committed for quality teaching and learning who have been shortlisted along with my application for this award. I also have a lot to learn from you, particularly Professor Terry Power and Kim Gunning Mooney. Therefore, I don't think this award today is for me. Uh, I believe many other members at Royal Roads community deserve an award as such. I'd like to take this opportunity to give my thanks to faculty, staff, and learners at Royal Roads. Each of them play a key role in supporting or guiding my teaching here. Our program associates uh, should be acknowledged. Uh, without them, I don't know how to connect with our learners. Our CTT colleagues should be uh, thanked as well. They help me to create a productive learning process which is more delicious than a bowl of noodle. <laughs> uh, our Office of Research and Writing Center colleagues should be acknowledged. They are great teachers for research ethics and research writing. Um, our colleagues at University Life should be thanked here. Without their smiling face and gentle guidance for our learners, I may end up in a classroom full of frustrated eyes and absent minds. Our computer help desk should be acknowledged, not only because the learners find solutions from you, but also because my teaching could not be outstanding without your support. Library and bookstore colleagues should be thanked. Everyone knows a teacher cannot teach in front of learners uh, without books. Our gardeners should be acknowledged. The best class I ever taught, according to the feedback from my learners, was the one in the garden with you. Uh, we learned a lot from you and our mother nature. Of course, my dear colleagues at School of Communication and Culture should be acknowledged, in particular, David, Jennifer, and Philip who won or run up for this award before. You have set up the benchmark so high that made me and many other people hesitate to apply for this prestige award. But I feel fortunate to be one of your colleagues at the School of Communication and Culture and bring another Kelly Award back to the school display case. Uh, another significant group of people i like to give special thanks is to our learners. All the courses I've been teaching at Royal Roads did not exist in Canada or in the world six years ago. Our intercultural and international communication master's degree program is the only one of its kind in Canada. The graduates and current learners in MAIIC program give their sincere trust and support to me and my colleagues here to develop and deliver brand new courses since 2005. They are not simply guinea pigs for testing these courses. They are co-writers in my courses. Many teaching materials, videos, stories, and web pages I'm now using in my courses are created or shared by my learners. In my class, we call each other co-learners because I promote knowledge exchange and interactive learning. If there's one thing I'm still struggling with in terms of teaching and learning, that is the limited opportunity for the learners to achieve higher regarding intercultural competence and global citizenship. Foreign travel, 
diverse teamwork, training in classroom, and overseas assignments are believed to be the four strategies to reach such a goal, according to Gregson, Morrison, and Black. I have initiated and led two overseas residencies for the learners, and this tradition is now carried on in our MAIIC program. For that, I've been also selected as the recipient for the CBIE Innovation in International Education Award. CBIE stands for the Canadian Bureau for International Education. I'm receiving that award in two weeks in Ottawa. I'm glad that Royal Roads is highly profiled in the CBIE event as an institution devoting for innovative learning. However, a three-week overseas residency should not be all we can do. I hope that one day it is possible for our learners to learn together with at least nine universities around the world simultaneously for two years with continuous online and in-residency interactions. Finally, I thank you for each of you giving me time to share these thoughts with you. Thank you.